Hey everyone, Techni here with another amazing product review. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna sound a little giddy through this entire video, because I honestly, spoiler alert here, absolutely love this product. And I know, I know, we've been going through some amazing products lately, right? The Hades keyboard, the Audio-Technica headset, and now this. And by the way, yes, the title states it right, we will be giving one of these away as well, along with we still have active giveaways going for the keyboard and for the headset as well. So make sure you head over to Twitter, figure out how to do that, uh, get on the uh, community tab on the YouTube channel here and you'll see some posts on how to enter for those. But again, you're almost gonna have a desk set up here and all these end within uh, about a month, right? So we got a headset, a keyboard, and then one of these mice right here. So make sure to join up and enter those because heck, you might be able to redo your whole setup here. And I just wanna be clear here before we get into this review, yes, Extra 5 did send these out for review, but they didn't tell me to say anything. It doesn't affect my review in any way whatsoever. I honestly, and straight from the bottom of my heart, love and believe in this product. I don't even have a single affiliated link uh, to this product or anything. So I don't make any money or any uh, perks or bonuses off this at all. I honestly believe in this product. I love it and I highly recommend it. You know, I mean, now once Amazon has these on there, I will put some affiliate links down there. But anyways, right now, again, there's nothing. And please, I highly recommend you, before you even start watching this video, click on the link right down there and pre-order this mouse while you can. And yes, you got it. The product we have today is the Extra 5 M4 Lightweight Gaming Mouse. And the one we will be giving away here is the white one. Now the M4 mouse does also come in many different color variations. You have a pink and black, you have a blue and black, and then you have a retro model that kind of looks like an old NES system. And then of course, the white and black version, which we're gonna be looking at here. All right, so what did you think about the close-ups right there? I honestly love it. It is just perfect. All right, so let's go on and talk about the shape and the design and everything. And again, straight out of the box into the hand right there. Holy smokes, it is just perfect. It really is. I'd recommend this for like a medium to large hand. Even if you got a small hand, I really think it'll work out for you. I really do as far as the placements of the button and everything. I think it's going to be perfect for every hand. Again, I got medium to large hands. I use a lot of the 310. You know what? There's a perfect example actually talking about size. That's right where I'd kind of put this as far as, you know, my experience with other mice. I put it right in between the Zowie EC2B and then the Rival 310 right there. If you've ever used any of those, I put this right in between there and it is just perfect. It really is. And just talking about that perfect size right there, you can tell that a lot of thought went into the shape of this mouse and everything and the design because they have this shape as patent pending. Yeah, it's not just a copy of another uh, mouse out or anything. They actually put some time into this and you can honestly feel the passion that went into this, as weird as that sounds. Now, a couple things I wanna point out about the shape, talking about how fantastic it is. As you see, you got that mild hump on the back and then also on this side where your thumb would be as far as the buttons and everything. So you got the hump there and the hump there and it really suits well for a palm grip. Again, your hand kinda of comes down and just rests on the side right there with that ergonomic design rather than the side of your hand kinda of swooping in and getting those cramps right over here. And then on top of that as well to suit other grip styles, as you can see, it kinda of swoops right over here and take a look at the other side as it swoops in right there. If we can catch it, there you go. You see how it swoops in right down there? So again, sometimes if you're getting in a heated moment, bam, get right down here, you get some fingertip action on it. You still got good grip because it swoops up and in right there. Bring it into a black back uh, hybrid claw. And then once things settle down, bam, right back into that palm grip right there. And again, it just suits every single grip perfectly. And as you probably noticed before, there are no finger grooves right up in the front here, but they don't swoop down a drastic amount. Honestly, when you put your fingers right on it, it's perfect right there. All right, so one last thing about build here, and I wanna talk about the side with the buttons. As you see, it swoops down and in and everything, and if you can notice, the buttons are really pushed uh, nice and forward right there. They're not in the middle, they're not towards the back, a little bit forward right there. So if you're getting that palm grip, 
claw grip, fingertip, whatever, your thumb is always right there. All right, so as far as shape, feel, and design, again, I gotta give it a complete win. It's so nice to see this ergonomic shape right here, still coming in at 69 grams, and again, guys, it feels so good in the hands. Yeah, you have to, again, just go hit that pre-order button and then come back and watch this video. All right, so next I wanna talk about the build here. And if any of you have been here for a while, you all know I reviewed a lot of lightweight mice and I get some slack on them because some people say, oh, well, who's gonna press their mouse that hard? Or who's gonna do that? You know what I mean? Well, I'm gonna, whenever I'm testing it, any product here, I'm gonna put it through the ringer, right? Because again, we're spending our hard-earned money here. Whether it be 50 bucks, 10 bucks, or 100 bucks, whatever, I'm gonna let you know if there's a fault within that product. And first what I'd like to do is show you something from their website. Quality first. The M4 is not just designed to be extremely light, it's built to last. At 69 grams, we focused on creating the best lightweight gaming mouse rather than cutting down on durability to get rid of a few extra grams. Lower weight must never mean lower quality. No compromises. And let me tell you what, they stood by it because this mouse is solid. I mean, it is hands down the best built lightweight mouse we have tested yet. This feels like some of the uh, full body mice we have tested. I mean, this sucker is solid. I mean, I'm talking, even looking at the mouse, if you can kind of look up here towards the holes towards the front, you can see that they're a little bit thicker. By the way, the holes are circled rather than that hexagon as we see in many of the other lightweight mice. But if you just look at the angle right there, you can see how thick the plastic actually is. And I cannot get this mouse to flex right here. And you all know I lay into them, right? Now, when I lay into it really hard i hear some a uh, slight creaking in there but i guess heck if we're laying into something that hard anything is going to creak you know what i mean but but again no flex no nothing again just incredibly solid all right so let's go on top performance on the m4 here it's using the pixar 3389 sensor and you actually have eight dpi levels set inside it well they call it cpi same thing and you can actually adjust it right down here on the bottom of the mouse and you get that color indicator as well whenever you're changing it and again you have eight different options to choose from from 400 all the way up to 16,000. you can also adjust your polling rate right down here on the bottom with just a flick of the button to 125 500 or a thousand hertz now as far as the buttons on the mouse, you got your two up front, your scroll wheel, the two on the side, and then this little button right up top here, as you can see, and that is not a DPI button, that is actually the RGB button, which we'll get into here shortly. Let's go on and get a quick sound test. All right, so now as far as the RGB button I was showing you, as you see, you got the RGB going around the side on the scroll wheel and then underneath the side buttons here. So anyways, let's go ahead and hold that RGB button down. And over here, we can adjust our brightness as you see it going dimmer or off. Or we can bring it all the way up to the brightness and it's all the way around there. Now also hold this down here and we can cycle our colors with actually this button over here. I'm cycling the wrong one. <laughs> but anyways, you can see it's cycling our color over there. So you can keep it on your flat solid right there. Now also if you just press the button right here, it'll change to a different effect. So no software needed whatsoever. Again, everything is adjustable right on the mouse. One other thing I wanna show you as far as the RGB, if you can see inside of the uh, shell right there, you see their logo lighting up right there, the extra five right there, and it changes with whatever effect you choose to have active on the mouse right there, which is just a really cool touch in there. Now everything inside the mouse is coated and covered for protection from dirt, dust, and uh, you know any uh, liquids or anything like that, so you're covered. You don't gotta worry about any of that stuff inside there. All right, now as far as performance while using them, and I test them on the extra five mouse pads as well the gp2 and the gp1 but right now we're going to focus on the mice first and right off the bat they're using the extra five easy cord right here and let me tell you what it is very very nice very lightweight i mean you got to get really close to it to even get it to uh, budge on the mouse right here all right now out of the box as you can see the white one the cable's a little bit stiffer when i get close to it right there even a little bit back and you can honestly feel the difference as again i haven't used the white one it's just here on for this review and that's when we'll be giving away but if i go to the black one that i have been using here as you can see it's very soft and i mean you got to get super duper close to even get the mouse to move right there so again just give it a week or so to break in and you're gonna be sound 
All right, now one thing I don't like about the cable, as you can see, it's coming pretty much straight out right here, and it kind of brings your uh, cable right onto the mouse pad. So you get a little bit of drag right there. I wish that was kind of pointed up rather than straight out. But again, go on and uh, throw the cable into a mouse bungee right there, and you're gonna be perfect. All right, so let's talk about the bottom of the mouse here. As you see, you have your four feet right there, and one thing I wanna point out, that's why I'm showing you the white one and the black one. It's kind of hard to tell on a white one because the feet are white. But anyways, if you can look closely right here, let me try to bring you in and see if you can see a little bit better. Probably not because all the white there you can see a little bit better right there but the white one does not have that foot right in the middle as you can see I put it on the black one and inside your box you're gonna get this little uh, envelope right here that's gonna have a sticker and some instructions on everything and they're also gonna give you some extra feet right here and as you can see I took that one off so in the white one again you will have that middle foot I just put the one on the black right there and let me tell you what while using them you notice a massive difference putting that one in the middle. It was just very nice. It was a little bit faster, but if you like your mouse to be a little bit more, uh, a little slower, a little more control, maybe leave the foot off. But again, if you put that one right on in the middle right there, wow, it is just slipping and sliding. All right, so as far as performance, and again, I tested them on the extra five mouse pads here. I always want to call them extra fry, you know, <laughs> extra fries. You can never go wrong with that, right? Anyways, we tested it on the GP1 and then the GP2 mouse pad as well. And I'm actually going to do a little bit of test with the white one here just to kind of show you again I don't have that middle foot on here and we did put that middle uh, foot uh, slide right on this one all right so first off let's start with the white one we'll get the black one off here now real quick the GP2 over here is a little bit more of a rough mouse pad kind of traditional what you see online it's got that little rough surface it kind of keeps you really nice control right there now when you get over to this GP1 uh, right here holy smokes I mean this thing is like silk like honestly if you've ever had a, a silk pillowcase maybe a little blankie or something you know <laughs> That's exactly what this feels like. And it is just so cozy to have your palm on it whenever you're playing. Oh my Lord, please make this mouse pad without the yellow right here. Oh, if this thing was solid black, hey, you could put some red in it, you know what I mean? But the yellow just throws off my setup. But holy smokes, this is the most cozy Oh man, I love this mouse pad. I really do. Let's get some different color variations here. But all right, back to the mouse here. Again, we're gonna test the white one first. And again, we do not have that middle glide right on there. And we're on the GP2 here, which is pretty much like your standard uh, mouse pad here. And you might be able to hear it kind of uh, gliding on. Let me get the cord up here a little bit. You can hear how it's a little bit rougher on this guy. Now we'll bring it over here to the GP1. You kind of hear it sounding a little more silky. And if you're catching me gliding this here where I got to pick up the cable, you can see what I was talking about before where the cable kind of catches onto the uh, mouse pad right there. So again, put yourself in a bungee and I think you'd be a lot better right there. But you can kind of hear the difference. All right, so now let's go on and test the black one. And again, we have that middle glide on there. And again, I'm just going to hold up the cable so we don't get any of that friction right there. It's getting away from me a little bit here. Let's bring it over to the GP1 over here. I mean, the GP1 is just so stinking nice. Again, really quick and smooth, very comfortable if you rest your hand on it over here. This one, again, you get a little bit more control if you don't want it really getting away from you. All right, so as far as that glide test right there, if you'd like a little bit more control and a little bit more precision right there where the mouse doesn't really get away from you, maybe keep that middle foot off right there because you're gonna get that extra control. Along with the GP2 mouse pad, again, it really kind of locks you in right there and you really get your spots perfectly right there. Now, if you like to be really quick and just snap you to the point right, put that middle foot on, test out this GP1 right here because wow, it is just butter smooth and precise. All right, now there's one thing I would have liked to seen on the mouse here. This may be personal preference or maybe just me being picky, right? But that's as far as these side grips on the mouse right here. As you saw in the close up, you can see the transition of the plastic from the side and the top right here. The top is that real uh, matte, soft touch, really, really grippy uh, plastic right there. When you get on the side, you kind of get into that regular uh, gloss, I don't want to say glossy, but that regular plastic on the side right there. Now my thumb doesn't slide around by any means, but my pinky he does over here on this side and I notice that whenever I get into heated situation I'm getting a little uh, you know a little sweaty right my pinky starts sliding around it's not major it's not deal breaker or game changing by any means you know what I mean but I would have liked to seen that matte finish around the entire mouse all right now quick question before we close out this review here does anyone know what ninjas in pajamas uh, are right there is it must be like an esports team that's sponsored by extra fry here I was want to say extra fry I just can't get out of my head extra fry anyways ninjas in pajamas that must be an esports team that must be sponsored by them or something right but let me tell you what here I have a five-year-old son and ever since receiving these mice it has been such a nightmare getting him to bed 
because he just thinks he's a ninja in pajamas now. Thanks a lot, ExtraFi. But all right, seriously, all in all, the ExtraFi M4 gaming mouse right here. And again, as I stated in the beginning, probably multiple times in the video, you need to pre-order this while you can right now, while it's still available. Because this is one hot potato. And again, as I stated earlier, I have no affiliated links right here. Once it goes on Amazon, I will put them down in the description. But right now, as far as these pre-orders and everything, I make nothing off this. No penny, nothing at all. Again, I just love it. I love what the company stands for and what their message they're putting across here in the mouse. It is just incredibly solid. They range from about 59 to, I believe, 70 bucks, if I'm correct right there. And again, you're getting every dollar's worth. This is the best lightweight mouse out right now, if not the best mouse. All right, so as far as the giveaway, I know someone out there was just skipping along to find out whenever I was gonna start talking about the giveaway, right? And yes, we will be giving away the white one here. Again, it's not used. I just took it out of the box to kind of showcase it for the review right here. Unfortunately, I have to do US shipping only, and I seriously apologize for that. Hopefully when the channel grows, we'll be able to do some overseas shipping. But again, just shipping something like this, a really lightweight mouse, would probably cost me 50 plus bucks just to ship to Canada, you know what I mean? So uh, I do apologize for that. All right, so how to enter the giveaway here. All you're gonna have to do, pretty simple here, is number one, be a subscriber and hit that bell. Because we have done so many giveaways on this channel and so many people just don't claim them. We just gave away a $130 keyboard but the poor guy didn't claim it. So make sure you hit that bell so you are notified if you're the winner. I'm not gonna hunt down your email or anything. I'm gonna reply to your comment and that's how you're gonna be notified by that comment post right there. All right, so subscribe, hit that bell, and the last two things you need to do is number one, leave a comment right down below as far as which mouse you are currently using. And then the last thing is share it on any of your social media platforms. Share it with your friends at school, share it on Twitter, Discord, whatever it may be. I'm not gonna verify here. I'm just gonna go off the trust system. So hopefully you actually, uh, take part in that right there and spread the word. I highly appreciate it. And if you liked the video, you can go ahead and hit that thumbs up as well. But if you didn't, hey, I'm not gonna force you to like the video, but if you didn't like it and you hit that thumbs down, maybe just leave me some constructive criticism down there. I love learning and you guys help this channel grow and I really do appreciate that. Also, in every single giveaway, the products we're doing here, you're gonna get a free Techni Tea. Yeah, now it's getting exciting. And also, please let me know down in the comments, are you looking at picking this mouse up? Do you have it pre-ordered or do you already have it in your hands? And what do you think about it? Again, I highly Highly, highly, highly recommend it. I really do. I think you're gonna be incredibly happy with it. It is such a fantastic mouse. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. I highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. And I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.